Welcome back, Vacay family. It's your girl, Sean. And it's your boy, KC. And we have another awesome carnival review for you guys on Guys, Pink, and Anchor um, Smokehouse. So, hope you guys enjoy it. Stay tuned. And I hope you're going to like that wonderful uh, review. Hey y'all, so surprisingly, many people don't know too much about Guys, uh, Pig and Anchor. And if you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe to keep up with our latest reviews. And also too, we go live every Sunday, 6 p.m. Central Time. So come on and join the family. And if you have any questions for us, come on, we're gonna be live. So we're gonna be talking about Guy Fieri's Pig and Anchor. Yummy. Nothing like a steakhouse. Many people don't even know that it's even on the boat because of where they have it hidden at. <laughs> it's actually on the fifth floor, or at least for the, the Carnival Vista, it was on the fifth floor. But it's normally in a little hidden spot. We've been on different cruise ships and stuff, and sometimes it's outside, sometimes it's been upstairs. But just ask for where's the location um, for a guy's pig and anchor. And somebody will definitely direct you to it. So this is this is a barbecue that's included. Okay, you guys. Free. This is something you don't have to pay for. Who don't like barbecue? We got the grill master over here, KC himself. So he's definitely gonna give you his honest review of what he thinks about guys <laughs> barbecue. Um, now they got some good food. They got some pool pork. They got some mac and cheese. Hey, for those are like uh, the vegetables, they got some greens. Yeah, he came out the woodwork with some greens. And I was really shocked about them greens because these greens had smoked turkey in them, okay? And I was thinking, like, I'm not sure if these greens going, you know, you know, everybody make their greens, how they make their greens. So I wasn't too sure. But those greens, hands down, awesome. I mean, it was so good. So where you can find this place, like she said, it was on the fifth floor or some of them. Uh, well, on Carnival Vista, which is that's going to be the Havana floor, you can definitely find it. It was outside the door, you know what I'm saying, uh, on the fifth floor and stuff like that. And uh, um, it's really not that hard to find. And you definitely got to go there during the sea days, you know what I'm saying, because it's not open that long. You know what I'm saying? So it opens up with around what? It's yeah, 11 to 2. Yeah. So definitely it's around lunchtime. So if you're, you know, it's sea days in town, we get miscomplaced of what time it is. And we're just kind of galley vatting around, maybe like, oh, we go Lido. And then by the time it hits your nose and you smell it and you see people walking around with some sausage and stuff, you're going to be like, where that's that? And then they're closed. So make sure you guys go around lunchtime. That's a really important. And get there early today. enough because if you get there too late, you know what I'm saying? They're not cooking them uh, uh, fresh. You know, what I'm I mean, they well, it's gonna be cooked fresh everything, but you know what I'm saying? They're not gonna be cooking no extra brisket for you. You know what I'm saying? Like that. You know, if you late, if you're around, you know, what I'm saying one thirty two, you might get a couple <laughs> scraps. You know what I'm saying? But be there around eleven twelve. Hey, you want it hot and fresh? You're good. You know. <laughs> and I mean, of course, they have a lot of other sides too. You know, what normal come with it. You know, potato salad, coleslaw. So you have your traditional barbecue sides that comes with it. I know KC mentioned mac and cheese earlier, and um, definitely they have baked beans. So I mean, your plate, you got a whole plate full along with um, they also have rolls and stuff like so that. So for all my barbecue connoisseurs, get on over there. You know what I'm saying? So you can, might want to skip that Lido deck and get down there to the that barbecue. You know what I'm saying? Because not a lot of people really realize that until towards like the middle of the cruise. They be like, they got barbecue. <laughs> oh man, let me get over there. So you get, get there early. The first couple of days, not too many people going to know about it. So get on over there. And where you can find it at, look in your itinerary on the ship. 
Oh, definitely. Um, because you this is something that you do not want to miss out on. And they also have um Guy Fieri has his own special barbecue sauces. Right. So, yeah, he has I can't even tell you how many. It was like about five different kinds. Spicy, so, sweet, brown sugar, whatever you like, you know, for nobody if you North Carolina, Texas, yeah, they had Kansas little, City, Kansas, they got you covered. Yeah, they had it, they had it all. So Whatever, if you're, you know, if you like the sweeter, more tangy sauce, whatever it is, they have it. But um, fortunately, we got to try out all different types of sauce and stuff like that. And it was fun. It was good. And we had an awesome time. And if you're new to any of these ships or new to Carnival, you know what I'm saying, as far as the pig and anchor, get there early. You know what I'm saying? We're going to, we, we look, we, we put you up on a tip to get there. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you definitely, it's not going to be open the first day. Just going to make sure you let you know that. But yeah. it will, it does, it is going to be open on sea days. You know what I'm saying? So during the days that they stop at the ports, they're not going to be open. So I'm just going to let you know. You know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> so but you're not the sea even days. Notice it, yeah. The sea days. You <laughs> they know shut down. You shut down. You probably walked past it and didn't even see it there. So it's just one of those things. But um, what I was going to say also on the newer ships, um, the newer ships, they also recently added a brew house to it. So not only are you getting a barbecue, you're also getting the brew house. So, I mean, with the brew house, the brew house is awesome because you're going to be able to, I mean, people love their beer to match up their beer with their barbecue. So why not have free barbecue and have beer at so the if same you time? So if you have not been on the Horizon or the Panorama, they're going to have the brewery there. So you can get your beer and your barbecue. Come on. They go together, beer and barbecue. And, uh, you know what I'm saying, in, what, 2020? You know what I'm saying, uh, what, 2021? You said the Mighty Gras is supposed to be, you know what I'm saying, featuring. That's one of the Carnival's Mecca ships. It will be on there. So, you know, so definitely check it out. If you're going to be getting on uh, the Mighty Gras, you know what I'm saying? For the first time, mm -hmm. definitely. And it, it should be on the future cruise. New cruises, they're going to be coming up with, uh, you know what I'm saying, later on in the year. So, they, so for right now, the these uh, it might change. So I'm just going to let you know. So it may be on the, uh, the newer ships. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, definitely. Barbecue, bear, why not? I call that vacation. Or maybe I'll call it vacay mode. I don't yeah. know about you. But hope you guys enjoy the review. And this was your girl, Sean. And it's your boy, KC. And don't forget to subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Definitely join the family, the Vacay family. And we hope to see you on, you know what I'm saying, Sunday, 6 p.m. Central Time. When we go live, we go live every Sunday. So come on over, hang out, say hello, say put hashtag news so we can see you. You know what I'm saying? And come on in. Join in the conversation. Hope to see you guys over there. See you on vacation. Okay.